Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog and again my name is Jessie. This is um, supposed to be the first episode of my vlog and I was supposed to publish this last year. However, um, I've had a back injury and kailangan kong mag uh, recover for at least a uh, six months period uh, after that accident na bypass din yung father ko. So, I really need to uh, focus on a lot of things. So, um, I think now is the time for me to share with you um, our trip. So, we have actually discovered a lot of things in Bangkok and I'm very happy to share it with you now. I hope that you stay and that you continue watching. So, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also try please please not try but please do subscribe <laughs> so i really i really am uh hoping that you guys would subscribe so thank you in advance i've traveled to many different places often with friends and this was the first time that I've traveled with my family abroad. So let me say that this trip is much more special. Since we are traveling as a family, we've considered a few things. First, our hostel must have a lift. Not most hostels in Bangkok have one. And it will be very difficult for our parents to use the stairs instead. Second, convenient location, a few steps away from a convenience store and restaurants. You will save more time and money if the places that you plan to visit are quite near your location. Now, it's time to explore. It's much efficient to take the BTS Kai train to escape the traffic. Plus, it's much more cheaper and faster. We got off from BTS National Stadium to our first stop, MBK Center, home to over 2,000 shops. Below MBK Center, we found Lollipop Market, which was not limited to food stalls, but also has an area for apparel. But of course, I stayed in the food market since I love the dishes served there. Grilled seafood and chicken are a must-try. Siam Discovery is just right across MBK Center, so no need to travel far if you're looking for some high-end finds. Of course, a trip to Thailand is not complete without riding a tuk-tuk, but keep in mind to haggle first before you ride. This is the largest clothing market in Thailand. It's where you can find reasonably priced Thai silk pashmina and a lot of other souvenirs to choose from. many years, the real value and identity of the Golden Buddha that it housed was unknown. It was believed that the image was covered with plaster to disguise it and prevent it from being stolen by the Burmese invaders. The true value of the Golden Buddha was discovered in 1955, when it was being transported to its new building, the crane's cable broke and the image fell to the ground, revealing the gold. Golden Buddha weighs 5,500 kilos and is 5 meters high. 
using a key under its base, it can be taken down and disassembled to nine pieces. Wat Po is a famous temple that was named after a monastery in India where Buddha was believed to reside. Traditional Thai medicine was learned by locals here during the time that it was still used as a school. In 1778, it was turned into a temple to replace Wat Podaram, which was destroyed during Burmese invasion. Locals believe that this unusual posture of the Buddha symbolizes how Buddha wants to relate to the people. This too was symbolic for me since it reminded me of how God tries to relate to each one of us every day. Across the reclining Buddha were 108 bronze bowls that symbolizes 108 auspicious characters of Buddha. It was believed that dropping coins on the bowl will bring good fortune, but this also helps monks maintain the temple. The marble temple displays ornate style of high gables, stepped-out roofs, and highly detailed finials. At the request of King Chulalongkorn, also known as Rama V, construction began in 1899. The structure fashioned a wide use of Italian marble, from Carrara marble pillars to a marble courtyard, and ornate details of lacquer and gold for its interiors. Orator Core was definitely one of my highlights. There's a wide variety of Thai cuisine that were super cheap, and it's also where I found fairly priced tamarind candies and those sweet and spicy dried squid that I've been craving for. Chatuchak Market is equally famous to foreigners and locals. That's why it's too crowded. There's a lot of things to shop, but what I find most interesting is that it's surrounded by many stalls offering authentic Thai massage. And this is to die for. <laughs> We found this restaurant a few steps away from our hostel. They're open to serve fresh and authentic Thai dishes from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. Jim Thompson is an American businessman and former architect who came to Thailand by the end of the Second World War. 
Drawn by the colorful Thai silk, he founded a company under his name. His famous house is made up of six traditional Thai houses, bought from various owners from different parts of Thailand, the farthest one from Ayutthaya. As precaution from flooding during rainy season, houses were elevated. The distinct characteristic of traditional Thai houses were curved roof ends with both supporting columns and walls slightly leaning inward to create illusion of added height and grace. It's about 35 minutes. Let's begin the tour right here where you can enjoy the group view of Tim Thompson House. In 1967, Tim Thompson disappeared with our trails in the Cameron Highlands of Malaya. To this day, we do not know what happened to him. As we visit his home today, you learn more about Tim Thompson, who was a successful businessman and founder of the Tim Thompson Thai Soup Company. He was born in America in 1906. After studying architecture at Princeton University, he worked as an architect in New York City until the start of the Second World War. In 1940, he joined the U.S. Army and became an officer of the OSS. Just as the war was ending, he was sent to Thailand. He fell in love with Thai people and culture and decided to marry. And that's to the 7th century, the Warawadi period, when the most important monarch in Gambia resisted the oldest image. Since it was our last night in Bangkok, we've decided to go for a dinner cruise in Chao Praia Princess, just to maximize our time together. International cuisine was served while a local band played music on the background. <laughs> 